Hey everybody, this is Kendall Wolf One back with more of the playthrough of Persona 5 Royal. Sojiro, why don't you want to hang out with me? Oh yeah, I believe that was Haru. Um What shall we do? Utaba will be in your care today. Make sure you don't let any dudes try to hit on her. Am I allowed to? Oh, I'm in a relation with Makoto. Thanks, Utaba. Maybe she won't mind. Don't do anything that'll make you stand out, moron. Just act with your brains, okay? No! Sure, you'll be all right. It's just a day trip. Don't underestimate me. Uh, right. Uh, sorry. Guess I just have to let it go. Have fun, but be careful, you two. Just white. 
I will say the color, design, and even the frills work well for Futaba. <laughs> and you gotta love a girl with glasses. Oh, it's so hot. There's a lot of people here. Are you okay, Futaba? I'm fine. You guys are here. It's almost lunchtime. No! The squid's staring at me! It's cooked, so don't worry. Would you even eat squid if I'm not around? Why don't we eat lunch, too? I'll go get some stuff for us, then. You're eating that even here? My staple food. This should be a familiar flavor. Yet how does it taste so good? What's up, Makoto? You ain't eating much. Uh, oh, um... Not feeling well or something? You just don't get it, do you, Ryuji? When a girl's in a swimsuit, she wants to look as slim as possible. Still, you're worrying too much. Did you make sure to eat breakfast? Mona lacks tact. So, what do we do now? Should we play some beach volleyball? Oh, sorry. Us girls already made plans to ride a banana boat. We could only rent a three-person one. Sorry. Wait, then what about us? Keep an eye on our stuff. As gentlemen no, should. No. Why you gotta treat us like that? They're ladies. They rule the world. Just get used to it, Ryuji. We're celebrities making headlines. You should treat us better. I do think they're not bad in the metaverse, but in reality, strange, isn't it? Uh, they can steal treasures, but they don't seem like they can steal a girl's heart at all. I've already stolen Makoto's. I don't know what you're talking about, On. Hell, I could steal yours if I truly wanted to. But, Lady On, can we get to the banana boat already? Oh, sorry. We'll go now. We'll switch when we're done. Keep an eye on our stuff for us. Get how amazing we are. Uh, just stop. We risk our lives being phantom thieves. There's no way we're the same as other guys around here. Shouldn't we be having more good times in reality, too? No, we're special. Don't you agree, Yusuke? Well, if you put it that way, you may be right. On and the others don't get it because they're always around us. Hey, how do we get Lady On to notice how amazing we are as phantom thieves? Well, we gotta steal, you know what? On made fun of us and all? Let's show her what we're really made of. I see. I just need to prove my skills in reality as well. Let's steal all the hearts with the skills we've honed as Phantom Thieves. I'm sure girls will be all over us considering the vibes we give off. Very well. Let's do this. Pulling off our work in reality doesn't sound bad. It's settled then. So, Mona, you're in charge of watching over our stuff, okay? Huh? All right, let's hurry up and go. Wait, wait, don't I get a say in this? Hey, what the hell? Get back here!
Dude, traveling in a group is just gonna make you guys seem very creepy. <sighs> I don't know. The ocean just looks kind of bland to me. Just give up. Come on, it ain't over yet. I'm going for a miracle comeback. Hmm. Did someone follow us here? Something tells me we're being watched. Really? Oh. You think one of those girls changed her mind? OMG, it's the golden boy himself! I'm fast forwarding through this, but sorry everybody. These characters just make me uncomfortable. Not for like what they're supposed to represent within the game for that particular community. It's just the way that they come off. That makes it uncomfortable. Uh, no, no more makeovers. Uh. By the way, where's Yusuke? So this is where you two were. I've been searching for you. Uh, what are you doing with those lobsters? While you were busy with your interrogation, I found these beautiful specimens on sale. And so, I decided to spend the last of my money on them. Man, you're real hopeless when it comes to cash. Wait, you were watching us? Why didn't you help? Apologies, but I was entranced. The moment I set eyes on this distinct shape, I was in love. I haven't had my very core shaken as vigorously as this since the first time on entered my gaze. And if you look carefully at them, you can actually see their claws. Good for you. We're here with friends. Come on, don't lie to us, baby. Really? Baby? I hope you burn. How about you come for a nice cruise on our boat? There's going to be a party too. Tons of celebrities and industry people will be coming along. Doubt it. Are you even listening to us? Sorry about the wait. Huh, so we were serious about being here with friends. That's what we've been saying from the start. Don't you find it boring spending your time with kids like them? Far more interesting than anything involving you two. Nice one, Makoto. What was that? Hey, let's just let the children have fun with fellow children. We'll be going now. <sighs> what creeps? Thanks for coming in like that. Those guys just wouldn't stop pestering us. To be honest, I was nearly at my wit's end. By the way, where are Futaba and Morgana? Ooh, are those lobsters? One in each hand! I was wondering about that myself. Are you going to make them into sashimi? Or perhaps roast them whole? Enough of your vile postulations. These are purely for the sake of visual appreciation. <laughs> I just love how he's keeping them away from Futaba. We did tons of stuff today. All in all, I guess coming to the beach was pretty worth it. Probably start heading home. Agreed. Let's pack up. Futaba seemed fine in the crowd, too. So it looks like she's overcome her last exercise. Hey, Futaba! We're going home! Stop standing around and help us! You know? All this time... I thought that it was my fault that my mom died. 
Uh-huh. It's because everyone said that I killed her. Everyone looked at me thinking I was a murderer. I ended up hating this world. That's why I shut myself in and covered my ears. I wished... I wished my mom would come back to life. Sometimes I'd wake up and think it was all a dream. But nothing had changed in the world. That's why I'd sleep again. It'd be a repeat of that. <sighs> I loved my mom. I wanted to become like her. How she'd work late into the night. How she'd wake up early and make me a boxed lunch every day. How she'd do her best to further her research. How she'd scold me for peeking at her notes. It was cognitive science, wasn't it? The cognitive world can become distorted through desires. If it becomes distorted, a person begins exhibiting problematic behavior in reality. That cognitive world disappears when you remove its core, and further problematic actions stop. Isn't that about palaces? That's the metaverse! She knew about that? It made no sense back then. But now I understand, after it actually happened to me. All I thought about was my mom. I was trapped in a cognitive labyrinth. I couldn't get out of it. There was nothing I could do by myself. That's why you asked us to steal your heart? That's a huge jump in logic in so many ways. At first, I didn't believe the rumors about the Phantom Thieves, that they steal hearts. But I overheard you accidentally. I learned that you were near me. Overheard? Ah, the bug. So why were you listening in on LeBlanc in the first place? I had to keep an eye on Sojiro, make sure he was actually working. Sure. I think it was her way of thinking she was there. Talk about an awful hobby. You talked about stealing hearts. When I heard that, I was so happy I jumped up and down. I thought maybe the Phantom Thieves could cure my heart. You could have just told us from the start. You might have been wary of me if I asked out of nowhere. And besides, you could have been bad guys. That's why I cautiously got in contact with you. I checked many times to see how you'd react. Yes. You had us twisted around your little finger. But Futaba, you didn't talk to anyone besides Boss for a long time, right? You must have needed a lot of courage to contact the Phantom Thieves. There were two reasons for it. One was Mejed's taunt. The Phantom Thieves were so pitiful it frustrated me. I would have been in trouble if they got disbanded too. Indeed. You are our only hope. The other was what I heard through wiretapping LeBlanc. Quote one of my favorite sci-fi series. Oh. Sojiro was being blamed with lies, like abusing me. He was being threatened to spill everything about my mom. Talk about making shit up. <sighs> it made me sad, and it hurt. I thought, I have to save Sojiro. I gotta do something. So that's why. But the Phantom Thieves, I didn't think you guys would be taking such risks for me. I didn't think you'd worry about me so much. I'm sorry that I acted like I doubted you guys. Do you believe in us now? Yeah, I can tell. You aren't bad guys. That's why I have a request. Let me join your team. There's nothing to join. You're already one of us. I'll be honest. Changing people's hearts isn't my goal. I want to learn what happened to my mom, the reason why she was killed. Killed? It was written in her notes. Should the self in the cognitive world die, the self in the real world would lose consciousness. Is this about mental shutdowns? Then, the criminal that Kaneshiro mentioned... Yes. That could be the case. I don't like pursuing this line of thought, but perhaps your mother's shadow was... 
I don't know for sure, but right before my mom died, she didn't seem right. In what way? No matter how much I talked to her, she wouldn't answer back. And she didn't jump into the road, it was more like she collapsed and fell in. That's why I thought what was written in the notes was real, and looked into it. I read books, checked theses that were released online. I even snuck into the networks of various research labs to look at their classified data. That's why you're good at hacking. What kind of brain do you have? But I didn't figure anything out. My mom's research was nowhere to be found. She was killed by someone, and her research was treated like it never existed. I bet it's them. Those adults in the black suits who read the fake suicide note. I'll never forgive them. Futaba. If I stay with you guys, I think I can find out more about that world. Then eventually, it might even lead to those men in black. It's a super personal reason why I want to join you. Is that okay? Or would I just be dead weight? If anything, you're dependable. Ain't that right, Mona? Why are you looking at me? Are you trying to say I'm inadequate? Well, she was more useful than you, as a matter of fact. Hey, that's inexcusable! This is what our phantom thieves are like. <laughs> but I hope we get along, Futaba. Thanks. Let's leave those two be. Why don't we lose no time and decide on Futaba's code name? What's that? It's not cool if we called each other by our real names. Joker, Skull, Mona, Panther, Queen, and I'm Fox. In Futaba's case... Hacker wouldn't be right, would it? Mech? PC? No. Why don't we go literal and call her goggles? Super lame. You've got no taste, kitty. <laughs> In your face. Do you have any good ideas for Futaba's code name? I'll curse you. What would you want it to be, Futaba? Hmm. Oracle, with my vision, I'll guide you all to victory. Sounds great! Futaba will be Oracle. But man, I never even dreamed that the rumored Phantom Thieves would be so close. Same goes to you, to think you'd be the daughter of a Metaverse researcher. Talk about a mysterious fate! <laughs> Should we get going then? Yep, let's go home. The incident with Medjet seems to have been more effective than predicted. This should spur the Phantom Thieves' support even more now. I agree. There are effective ways to use the Phantom Thieves. Now would be the best time to dispose of unnecessary trash. Whether they're connected to us or not. Hey.
damn it, Ryuji. You always find the worst possible things to say.
Out of the blue, but uh, like, could we all meet up at LeBlanc tomorrow? I mean, August is almost over already. That worried tone. Could he still have summer vacation homework left to do? Was that Morgana? Whoa, how did he know? I actually called it. Anyway, I I've already hit up Makoto and the others. I'll be counting on you to get me through this tomorrow. You gotta be kidding. Might as well get some sleep while we can. <sighs> that black thing was... me? That can't be true. I'm supposed to be human. I should be. If we get rid of the distortion in the depths of Mementos, I'm sure... I'm sure it'll all be fine. Sorry, did I wake you up? Oh, um... My sunburns were hurting, and that woke me up. I was absorbing all the sunlight because I'm black. Don't you get it? It's all natural! By the way, it's not like I'm bothered by this or anything. But hypothetically speaking, okay? What would you do if I turned out to be some weird... thing? bothered by it if what I saw from earlier is true is it okay for me to stay with the phantom thieves and even if I'm with the team I'm useless at the moment it's nothing well I've gotten pretty used to my life as a cat too and to be frank this storage room isn't bad either then again I can't wait to turn back to being a human so I can move out Maybe I'll live a life of luxury in a suite on the highest floor. Hmm. But rather than becoming some weird thing, 
Maybe staying as a cat isn't so bad either. You and me made a deal, yeah? That means I can stay here. Isn't that right? Thought so. Don't forget what you just said, okay? All right. Come on. Let's hurry up and get to sleep. Night. Morgana, you are soon going to become a pain in my be fine, behind. Right? Oh, I'm done. As for me, I'm done for. Talk about a cliched way to end your summer vacation. I can't believe you hadn't even touched your homework until last night. Who gives homework during summer vacation? I mean, I know it's kind of common for schools in Japan, but... Why? Well, everyone's free to spend their time as they choose. I guess some people just can't help themselves. I'm sorry. Come on, I think he's learned his lesson. He hasn't. I will talk for him more. More importantly, why don't you folks take a break? Boss! Oh, you're a lifesaver. I'm gonna go pick up some groceries. Mind the shop for a bit. The sports club has aggressively applied kinesthesiology to the team's practices. By incorporating their lab's findings on human efficiency into the training regimen, they have developed a... Oh, that reminds me. Isn't there a female athlete from our own school who's made the news? An athlete? Oh, do you mean the one in gymnastics? Yeah, her! The one everyone's saying is super cute. Oh yeah, Yoshizawa, right? Wasn't she gonna be in the summer meet? Or is that already over? Ah, about that. Makoto? Well, I just happened to overhear a couple teachers discussing it when I was heading to school the other day. Yoshizawa-san's results in the meet... They weren't exactly stellar. I see. There seemed to have been a great many people expecting her success there. It's gotta be tough for her. Yeah. Ain't there one more meet left this year in gymnastics, though? Shit must be rough right now. But if she can nail that one, who cares what anybody at school says? Oh, that also reminds me. So, I just so happened to bump into Mishima-kun before summer vacation started. And? He seemed really mad. I asked him what was wrong, and he showed me some posts on an underground site about our school. It pretty much said the school's planning to abandon any honor student who isn't actively making Shujin look better. Whoa, wait a sec. There was no name, and it sounded like just another rumor at first. But could this be about Yoshizawa-san? Who knows? Still, ever since the case with Kamoshida, the school's been frantically trying to improve its public image, right? At the very least, this abandonment of honor students would fall in line with the school's real mission. I can't deny the possibility that they would do this to Yoshizawa-san. They dump all their hopes onto their athletes, and if they don't cut the mustard, they're out like the rest of the trash, huh? Regardless of whether it's true or not, such behavior is extremely self-serving. <laughs> Just like we thought this whole time. There's still tons of shit wrong with society. Unfortunately. Yeah. You don't know what'll happen to Yoshizawa's spot on the team. But at the very least, we can keep up our efforts to prevent the worst case scenario. Next up, our spotlights on a topic everyone's talking about. The Phantom Thieves Incidents. The Phantom Thieves shocked the world by silencing a globally notorious hacktivist group. 
Their popularity goes beyond our own borders, with foreign media following them closely as well. Excuse me. Many are heralding them as dark heroes and gentlemen thieves for a new age. Whoa, this is getting pretty crazy. So the whole world really knows about us. Man, it's hot. first learned about mementos. Shut up, Ryuji. You got time right now? Next time, then. Before I continue on with my social link with her, it's, way it's going to get a reading for Sojiro. I'm going to shrivel up. What shall we do? What? 
I've made up my mind. Thank you very much. Thank you. Come on, I just need a name. expected what happened to Futaba's mother would be connected to those incidents in the city. We can't leave this be. Though this scoundrel has the same power as us, they're triggering people's mental shutdowns. If they truly exist, who can stop them? Only us. This is getting interesting. new addition to the team, so it's time I flex my veteran skills. Going out for lunch, just the three of us. You don't have any plans, right? Just come on, it'll be my treat. Not only can Futaba go out now, but your summer break's almost over. We gotta do something. I asked especially for sushi. You better be thankful. This place is supposed to be super delicious too. Sushi? Take me with you! I didn't get to eat the takeout sushi last time, remember? Man, that thing never stops meowing, does it? Tell him to bring me along! Wait, does it want to come with us or something? I do feel sorry for it, though. Well... I guess I don't mind bringing some sushi home. He knows me so well. Let's see. I want some medium fat tuna, fatty tuna, salmon roe, anago, and, and... Oh, are you going to be able to remember all this? You might want to take notes. <laughs> And old Sojiro's hearing his meow meow. So meow 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 meow. Mmm, delicious! Don't talk with a mouthful. Now show me your wolf face. Don't wolf it down like that. No one's gonna take your food. What did I tell you? Drink some tea. Restrooms. Uh, they're that way. <laughs> what a busy girl. <sighs> Back.
Back in the day, she, her mother, and I used to go eat out often. This brings back memories. I had completely forgotten about it, too. That is what, that's what Futaba said earlier. Um, her mom wanted to be a deep relationship with Sojo. A father. That was close. I thought I was gonna die. Well, time to resume. You're still going to eat? Full. I'm throwing in the towel. <laughs> Which is it? <laughs> I'm gonna use the restroom and then pay the bill. Uh, check, please. Coming right up. When I got into middle school, my mom and Sojiro took me out to eat sushi to celebrate. All right, since it looks like I'm getting a low on time here. I'm going to stop it right here to do a video. Down below and what you're thinking of how the, everything is going. Like it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Share it with friends. Until next time, everybody. This is your friendly YouTube neighbor, Kendo Wolf one Peace.